Danielle coming at you this week for your quick witchy tip. Today I want to talk to you guys about setting your day right and setting intentions. So many of us these days are so busy in the morning, um, whether it's getting our kids to school or we have jobs to go to and we just don't have the time, even an extra five minutes to take in the morning to set intentions. So I'm here to tell you it's as easy as making a cup of coffee or um, a cup of tea. So what I want you to do is when you go downstairs in the morning or down the hall, whatever you do, um, grab your cup of coffee or tea. And as you add your ingredients, you are going to literally set your intentions with the ingredients that you're adding, such as sugar and creamer. It's that simple. So with sugars and honey for tea, perhaps you can set the intention of having it be a sweet day. Your day is going to be sweet. It's going to be enjoyable. Any um, bitterness that's coming towards you will be sweetened over with the sugar or honey. So you can do this when you're adding it to your coffee or tea or whether you're mixing it or when you're done mixing, literally setting your hands on top of your mug and just place the intention for an extra 10 to 20 seconds. Um, another good one is your creamer, whether you use half and half or coconut milk, whatever you choose. For me, a creamer is a way to smooth out my coffee. And the intention for me is smoothing out my day. I'm gonna have a smooth day. Things are gonna go very well for me. And as I add it and I stir, I literally think of the intention of smoothing out my day, making everything easy for myself and anyone that I deal with. Um, another good one for your coffee is you can add some um, cinnamon. I know a lot of us use cinnamon as a protective agent in our spells and cinnamon is a great way to set the intention of protection for the day as well. And another favorite of mine is vanilla. Vanilla is a great addition to coffee. It tastes fabulous. I use the vanilla extract that comes in the little bottles. Um, it's, it's not a fake um, add in it's actually the actual vanilla itself and you need just literally a quarter of a capful to add to your coffee vanilla is fabulous for um, setting the intention of keeping any negativity away it's also good for calmness and i'm going to use my cheat sheet right here you can use it for empowerment and love as well so um when i tell you these things please feel free to add to your um, additions whatever you're using. You don't literally have to use it for what I'm stating it for, but whatever you feel is correct when you do it. Um, another one for your tea, if you happen to use lemon. Lemon is fabulous for the body, but lemon is also, if you think about it, we use it in our spells for cleansing. We cleanse our homes with lemon around our doorways and around our windows. So why not use it as a protective agent, as a, an intention in your tea? Um, works very well. It's very simple and easy. And um, also what I like to do is I have a box of herbs that I use um, in addition to my tea. So if I want to add a little bit of love that day, I can go in and take up my rose petals and add uh, one or two rose petals to my tea while, while it's steeping. Um, echinacea, calendula, rose hips. You can go wild with that. Go to your nearest herbal store. Again, please make sure that anything that you do use is safe to be ingested. Um, and also find out how much it is that you can use in your teas so you don't make yourself sick. So that's it for this week's edition of Witchy Tips with a Touch of Magic. Join me next week where I will be discussing how to set your intentions with your drinking water for the day, as well as setting intentions with candles. And then the following week, We'll talk about setting intentions with your clothes, your jewelry, and maybe carrying around some crystals in your purse. We'll talk soon. You guys have a great day and blessed be. Bye.